Then we bring in a, uh, a visiting artist. Are you filming right now? I already am filming. Let's start with the kids. Okay. <laughs> yeah, kids are more important. Well, this is the stuff that the grant uh, students have been doing for the whole year. They work with uh, the seven elements. We've got uh, texture, form, shape, space, line, value. Uh, these charcoals really establish the, char uh, the, the student's uh, ability to show, show value in uh, realistic words. And they do it on a black and white scale. <clears throat> Some of these are done from uh, photographs, and then they render them in a charcoal. This is a uh, uh, this deals with a contour line drawing, which is done in uh, glue, and then the student puts in uh, my choice of the charcoal, and then they establish a mixed media background, which is like a tissue. But they have to try and get they only get three colors of chalk, and they have to try and get as many as they can. Out. Very good. And then these are their first projects, which are like collages. And what they have to do is they go through magazines, and then they have to create some sort of a pictorial story. Story. Brilliant. Pieces out of magazines. And I really liked uh, this one here because the student actually created the whole tree form out of mountains and hillsides, and then added all the stuff she would find on the floor of the, of the forest. <clears throat> well done. And of course, you have the students who love all the He-Man stuff. So we've got the. Uh, Tough guy. X Men and uh, heck, I don't even know who they are anymore. Mm. You're getting glare there, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of glare everywhere. It's not fo not even focusing on it. But they have to start rendering some sort of a content, some sort of a composition. This is a student who's had uh, two years of um, regular art, so he's had a beginning art, and then he's had an advanced art, and now he's in the uh, AP program. So he's going to be establishing some of his work uh, on a college level, and he'll turn in 30 pieces. Portfolio. He'll receive college credit. Yeah, he'll receive college credit, hopefully for it, for his work. So he's showing a breadth there. And these are just some other student works. This establishes uh, just some shapes, and they have to cut them out of tissue paper, overlap them, and show me some sort of a depth with them. <clears throat> and these are all the students' own creations too. What's this one? Blue. Uh, the students at the end of the year, when they start getting into color, they have to they have to establish. Uh, I only let them use three colors, red, blue, and yellow, and then they have to t take a copy, usually from one of their uh, uh, collages, they'll take a small window area, and then they will have to paint that in a large area. So this happened to be on the student's collage, and then he just blew it out and then had to paint a, a piece out of his collage. So sort of like uh, the point, the that one area he blew it up. And right, it's like this one here. The student can take, he can make a whole thematic unit out of just one collage. His collage tells one story, but then this single portrait of this guy here might show another one, and then this one here. So he mm -hmm. can create a whole thematic group of work just off of one piece. So it allows them to see you know, how far they can take one piece of art and how they can change it and make larger or better, better paintings out of it. And the more the students work with the same subject matter, the better they get at handling all the media because the subject matter is already... Uh, it's their creation. This is amazing. Yeah. This is beautiful. Is this student work too? This is, this is Pam's work. Pam's kind of... Get over here, Pam. Oh, here we go. <laughs> She'll show you her student work. All right, Pam. Oh, Just like Bob did, he was great. Okay, we started with my work. These are abstracts, abstracts with acrylic paint with an oil bar. And they're on paper. Shape, form, and color is with a figurative. These two are more figurative. Which two? These two over here are more figurative. What makes what what do you, what's what, what does figurative mean? Uh, more there's a sense of a person in there, or this one really reminds me of people. Oh right, huh? It's what you see in there yourself, but it's what also my intention of when I'm, when I'm painting. This one here is, I saw a ladder while I was painting it, and so I went with the kind of New Mexico feel of an adobe. It's still abstract, but it's got, you can see a ladder here, and a kind of a door or window, and, and a building. So it's... Kind of moves between a real a, a sense of a building and an abstract. Hmm. What are these down here? These are abstracts as well. Same media, same style. Acrylic, same style. 
an oil bar. Oh, I see a figure in there, too. If you, that kind of looks African in here. It looks like, you know, African. Well, this one's called Earth Rhythms. Oh, I was going to say Rhythms, too. Yeah. This one's called Gypsy Swirl. Uh, it reminds me of a gypsy skirt. And, you know, some of them, the, the title comes to me fairly easy, and sometimes it doesn't come to me fairly easy. Anything on the outside? Oh. These are my student work. Uh, well, pinch pot ceramics. A hollowed out body with a hollowed out head attached, and then glaze. A couple coats of glaze attached, put on the surface. The theme was a uh, storyteller figure to resemble themselves, resemble the artist. So that's like a fairy godmother? Um, well, you know, it could be your own story, maybe oh, okay. a personal interest in fairies or uh, you know, childlike things. These are functional as well as sculptural. <laughs> you can take the lid off and put something in it. And then we have the pinch pot piggies, and some of them are banks and some are not. This one's got a, a slot for money. What's pinch pot mean? Pinch pot means it's a certain technique to uh, hollow out the clay, hand building technique. So you're the teacher? Yes. Oh my goodness, we were just saying. I'm the teacher of the ceramic. Of the ceramic? But there's other teachers also. It's incredible. I am just like blown away at some of this well, that's Students have to learn somewhere, so it takes a teacher. We just try to let them know that teachers can do work too. We just don't teach. So Pam has work, and then this is her student work, and I have work up there, and my students do it too. I'm very impressed. And it's youth art month, so it's kind of important for the public to realize you know, Students do art. Right. Art is a very important part of our school system, which they don't think it is right now due to the economic mm -hmm. they like to cut it all. Right. And all the sports. Yeah, I just had this conversation with somebody today. Oh, well, good. You need to talk to the board. Uh, the boards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Believe me. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. You're gonna in front of the school board on way too good many. Good for you. Years. You got to keep banging on them too. All right.